Hey everybody, I'm Snowstastic and welcome back on the Lion King Family Tree Part 8. It's been a while since I made a Lion King Family Tree video, but as you know, I'm working a lot this summer and it's gonna be hard for me to make more video. But anyway, stop the suspense and let's start this episode now. After talking to Fleck, Jinx returned to Felidae, who was all excited. She knew Pride Rock was about to return to her clan. Jinx told her that Fleck wasn't willing to give up the throne. He said he was ready to die, so it's what was going to happen tonight. The king would be dead. Fleck, on his side, returned immediately to the rock warning his lionesses and lions to get ready. With Jinx on Felidae's side, it would obviously be a really hard war. Hopefully, the wives would arrive fast. At least, it's what he hoped. Because, in reality, Jinx knew Fleck would have sent someone to warn the wives. So the evil lions prepared an ambush with a group of Lycaon and Servants. When the sentinels crossed the Pride Lands border, the enemies jumped on her and killed her. The wild would never get warned about what was going on on Pride Lands. When the ambush came back to Jinx and Felide, two days had already passed in the kingdom exactly what Jinx predicted. During those two days, Fleck hoped for the wilds to arrive. All lions were getting stressed and nervous as they see nothing happening. When would the war begin? All that was happening was small attacks from the servals and the Lycaons. Nothing big. Every time the lions were able to kick them away, what they didn't know was that it was exactly a part of Jinx's plan to stress and tire Fleck's army out. That night, Jinx's group began to walk on Pride Rock. The strategy was to go as waves, attacking the tired lion first. A mixed group of servals and lycaons had to run around, making sure to tire the lions out even more while another mixed group of Lycaons and several would attack the other lions. Jinx had to find the three main lions, Akka, Rocco, Kolmek, and of course the King Fleck. Once he would have found them, he would have to kill them. Thanks to his army, Jinx managed to get on Pride Rock rather easily. The first lion he found was Kolmek. The chocolate brown lion was nervous when he saw the enemy approaching. A little voice inside of him was telling him to run away and save his life, but if he would do that, he knew that Safira would never forgive his act. The problem is that Kolmek never been a good fighter. Jinx could feel how stressed the other male was, and it made him smart. Approaching, Jinx was self-assured, while Kolmek was groaning as if he was trying to scare the cursed lion. Jinx looked down, a smart pin on his lips, before warning Kolmek that it would only take him a second to end his life. At that, Kolmek ran to give Jinx a front attack. Bad move. Jinx was much more bulky than him, and in a quick move, the grey lion had pinned Kolmek down on the ground and hit him hard in the face, causing the brown lion to lose one of his fang and to have a big scratch across his face. Placing one of his paw on Kolmek's throat, Jinx was ready to cut the other male's throat when Rocco and Fleck arrived in loud war. <coughs> With no hesitation, Rocco rushed to attack Jinx, who had been forced to back away from Kolmek. While Rocco was trying to fight Jinx, Fleck went to help Kolmek, 
The blood was running all over the brown lion's face. Fleck has to take Colmec away. Seeing Fleck running away was making Jinx more and more furious. Indeed, the king was his main target, because Fleck was the one who defeated Jinx during the first war. The Grey Lion needed to get his revenge. He fought Rocco trying to get away, but the Black Lion was stronger than what Jinx thought. He was well trained and was really motivated to defeat the Cursed Lion. Even though Jinx finally managed to escape Rocco with the help of the servos. Rushing after the king, the grey lion finally spotted him. Hearing Rocco growling to warn Fleck and Colmec, Fleck told Colmec to run to the jungle while he would hold on Jinx. But Colmec didn't want to leave without Safira. Though he didn't really have the choice, Fleck promised him bring Safira to the jungle once Jinx would be defeated. The injured brown lion nodded and left. Jinx finally had his moment, alone with Flake. He would be able to take his revenge on the so-called king. Flake tried one more time to reason Jinx, but the grey lion would never change his mind. This time, it was the end for Flake. Jinx pounced on the older lion, all closed out, attacking him harshly. Much younger, Jinx was more powerful, stronger than Fleck, who was getting old. The king tried to fight back, defending himself as much as he could, though Jinx succeeded to hurt him badly and to pin him down on the ground. Fleck looked up at Jinx, trying to push him away from him with his back legs, but the evil lion was heavy and stronger. Plus, the king was injured. He failed pushing Jinx away. The grey lion looked down at the king, a smug smart pin on his lips as he told the older lions how he should have gave up the crown. Lifting his paw up in the air, Close out, he was ready to end the king's life when he suddenly got pushed away out. Losing balance, he tripped on the ground before getting up in a quick move, looking at who pushed him. Jinx saw Rocco. The black lions came to save the king just in time. A minute later, and Fleck was dead. Rocco ordered Fleck to join the jungle. The servals were about to win. Pride Rock was lost. The lions had to run away. Jinx army won. Fleck couldn't believe that. He failed. He didn't want to run away, but Rocco forced him. So the defeated king left his kingdom to save his life. But when he left, he promised to himself that one day Pride Rock would return to the lions. Even if he won, Jinx attacked Rocco to stay to hold on the Grey Lion, giving Fleck some time to escape. The Dark Lion attacked. He was fast, but Jinx was furious for failing Fleck's kill. The fight between the two lions was broke and harsh. Suddenly, Jinx tripped down again. Rocco jumped on him with no hesitation. It was his only chance to finally stop the evil lions for good. But when the black lion reached Jinx, the grey lion lifted his head to bite Rocco's carotid after him. Pulling it out from his neck, Rocco looked at Jinx frowning in confusion, a lot of blood running down his neck, turning his black mane into a red mane. Then. He heavily fell down on the other lion, dead. Not sure to have understood what happened, the servants were staring at the scene, breathless, wondering who died and who survived. After a moment, Rocco's corpse being pushed aside and Jinx, covered in his enemy blood, got up. At the view of Jinx being the survivor, all the servants screamed in joy. Felidae approached the grey lions with a proud grin. Pride Rock was finally back. 
the Harmony Lands will now come back to life. Meanwhile, Flake reached the border of the jungle, limping greatly. Just like Comic, he was badly injured, but not on the face, on his front left leg. When the wives saw the king arriving alone, they got scared. Comic rushed to him, asking where Safira was. Mist also rushed to him, asking where was her lion, Rocco. Ash was worried, very worried. Fleck told the young lion that his father would come back soon, but his face was saying otherwise. Nobody knew what really happened to Rocco, but Fleck finally admitted that Pride Rock was now belonging to the servers. At this word, Ash knew his father would never come back, and he ran away, far into the jungle. Kira tried to stop him, but impossible. So she ran after him, not wanting him to be alone in such a tragic moment. And of course, Zio followed them. Everybody looked shocked at Flake. Mist was devastated with the loss of Rocco. Kolmek was worried as never for Safira. She was still with Jinx. Sharp was furious for missing the war. They have not been warm. And the lion lost Pride Rock because of this. Nash? Well, Nash was terrorized. He knew what it meant to have Jinx back as king. And Fleck? Fleck was sorry for failing. All right, it was the episode 8 of the Lion King Family Tree Part 8. And I know it's been sad, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you are ready for the Part 9. Because yes, no need to ask me for it. Because I'm going to make a Part 9. Just give me some time. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Tell me whatever you want to tell me in the comments. But stop asking for part 9 because I said I was going to make one. Don't forget to share with your friend, to subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed yet. And of course, smash this notification bell because I want to hear it ring so loud. Losastic on the Lion King Family Tree Part 8 And I'm gonna see you soon guys For another video Bye bye And take care